<laughs> good morning, good morning, good morning. It's bulldozer day. Uh, so we have a D5 bulldozer that we use for land clearing primarily, uh, as well as getting 18 wheelers unstuck when they go down the wrong road that I told them not to very specifically. Uh, I'm not bitter. Uh, but our poor bulldozer has three sets of clutches and two sets of brakes. Two of those sets of clutches and brakes have already been changed because Lucas is absolutely amazing. That's Lucas over there. Uh, so the central clutch, which is the main drive clutch, we basically pushed it to its absolute like uh, adjustment point. And we're at the point where it just really struggles to roll forward and backward. Like you really have to yank back on the clutch. So we found a company in Idaho, yes. Idaho. Uh, there's a gentleman there who just loves old like Caterpillar equipment. And he actually sent us a new set of clutches. Here, that's better. A new set of clutches. And we are going to put them in and get them all swapped in. So we're hoping to get it all torn down today. We will very, very likely not get them re-put in today, but uh, it, today is just about getting the bell housing off, getting the clutches off, looking at it, getting everything set up, and then we'll start reassembly probably a different day. Likely. Very likely. Uh, because it also gets really hot, and right now we're in the shade, and a little bit later, we're going to be in the direct sunlight. And I don't like working in direct sunlight, neither does Luke. So we're going to work as long as we can on the bulldozer to get it all broken down and torn apart, uh, get ready for new clutches, and then we will probably have lunchtime shenanigans today. Shenanigans. Because it sounds like fun. So uh, while Luke is draining and getting this all done, uh, it's kind of a one-person job, so I'm going to go get some, try to get some milling done uh, to make more flooring or roofing, depending on where you're standing and then we're just going to tear into the bulldozer as long as we can so here we go check it out so what's the first order of business at the moment all right so i already got uh <clears throat> i jumped the gun a little bit and got the hood off the intake and the muffler actually the muffler has been long gone but <laughs> you get the idea got this all open and exposed ready to be worked on um Currently, the hydraulic tank is filled with like 25 gallons of hydraulic fluid or so. And all these connections on here have to come off before removing the tank. And I don't really want to dump 25 some odd gallons of hydraulic fluid all over the ground. So we're draining it and it's fairly fresh. So we're going to save it and reuse it. Um, but I'm going to work on getting little things undone, disconnected, and as soon as the tank is empty, uh, Ricky's going to come over and lend a hand, and we'll try to tag team this and get it knocked out as soon as possible. So what we've got going here is a uh, fuel pump pulled from a truck, and uh, it's wired up to a jumper pack here and a hose put on it. And it's working beautifully as a little transfer pump. Is it sketchy? Maybe. But what's is it the real? working? It's working. So is it really that stupid if it works? I think not. Um, so is there any way to yeah. know when your five gallon bucket's about to overflow? Yeah, it's like right when there's about a lot of fluid pouring out over top and then you have to scramble over to turn off the okay. pump and yeah, that's about when you know the bucket's full. Um. So are we getting low enough that you can start disconnecting things without shooting uh, fluid everywhere? Not quite yet. I just keep slowly moving the pump down because I don't want to drop it all the way to the bottom and suck up all the sediment. So what are you going to do? Uh, we got to pull the dash off first. So there's this one. Yeah. And then uh, is it, it's this one uh-huh and then on the other side oh on the other side it's going up yeah okay yeah i see it what is it three quarter oh i should only need one though right uh i've been finding that like 
you typically need at least two of the same size got it to make uh something work because it's like two turns with this wrench and then you flip it and then two turns and then you switch to the other wrench two turns that kind of thing okay and it's most of the hardware on here which is awesome that sounds it, great uh, it promotes creativity and it stimulates the brain the brain's frustration centers you could say that yeah <laughs> all right so i got both those off and the bottom one off um luke has done this before i have not so i'm the sue mechanic uh we can pull the batteries or just yep two terminals and then the ignition switch in here there's okay. two like lugs double o wires or something i see them how? How? How am I already bleeding so much? It's a talent, love. Is it it's not much. Oh. Yeah, it's just, I just always no, find a way. You just gotta account for blood being part of the sweat. Like. Oh, is that why they say blood, sweat, and tears? Yeah, it's like... <laughs> when, do, when do I get to weep bitterly over this? Oh, that's like tonight. That's... Oh, okay. Got it. <laughs> completely out of fuel or the fuel gauge stopped working? Oh, really? Oh no, it's completely out of fuel. Cool. It'll be alright, I just won't leave it running. Do you have a five gallon bucket of fuel? Uh, nope. How about a ball is full of fuel? <laughs> oh, actually, I could grab one of the yellow ones. Do you have a bag full of fuel? I have a hammock of fuel. Do you have a hammock of fuel? Yeah, does that help fuel? Where are you getting these units of measurement? <laughs> We're about to pull out the hydraulic tank, the main hydraulic tank for the front half uh, hydro system. Because this machine actually has two separate reservoirs and two separate pumps and two completely separate systems. Um, so yeah, this is the front half hydraulic tank and it is super duper in the way. Did it barf on you? No. You just spill all over your boots? I just dumped diesel all over my boots. Oh no. Means our sh I know what our shoe closet's gonna smell like for the next uh, month. There's diesel in my boots. Dear Liza, dear Liza. Dear Yeah, don't you love that? Well, I didn't think Snap-on would do that. I thought they would have a little push button. They, they do, but they're more expensive. So instead of four thousand dollars, it's five thousand dollars. Yeah, for a wrench. Yeah, something like that. You're gonna hand me the non-impact on an impact. Got it. What? Huh? Hmm? The trick is, just don't look at the socket. I can, I can spray paint them black if you want. Make an impact. Oh yeah. There you go. It's a good call. I don't know why I didn't think of that. Oh, is that why some are black and some are not? Yeah. That does make sense. What does that go to? I just went ahead and kicked it down there, so it's gone forever now. It's okay. There's a bunch of stuff that I've like dropped that are under this. Uh, <laughs> like, uh. Well, now that we know that the telehandler will in fact tow this, yeah, we could drag it out if we need. <laughs> All right, that's done, that's done, that's disconnected. So this is ready to come out too now, right? Yeah. Should be. All right. Lock 
Doing pretty well there for uh, nine and a half fingers. Nine and three quarters. Don't short him his quarter inch or quarter finger. So, I don't know if he told you, but uh, oh, yeah. I got my gloves ordered. I emailed out them. I was like, hey. This is Vermont Glove. Uh -huh. Vermont Glove, yes. Very good company. Very good customer service. It's like, hey, I have two hands that are like different. One of them has slightly shorter thumb. Could you make my right glove with a shorter thumb? She's like, yeah, just trace out both of your hands and we'll, uh, we'll make them accordingly. Every glove is made to order. So I had ones where the fingers were super long and the, the glove base was like a lot smaller. Yeah. And they have been holding up terrifically. I got you those for your birthday in March, I think. That sounds right. Yeah. It was right around your birthday. I mean, I, they were for your birthday, but I can't remember if they came in just before or just after. And we're now in August. Yeah. They're holding up great. I've been really happy with them, so check them out. Vermont Glove. Not sponsored. Hashtag not sponsored. Yet. Yet. We have hopes. Got high, high hopes. <laughs> What's next, boys? Yeah, what happens next? Because we're racing the sun here. Uh, drive shaft. Okay. I can do that. Clutch, bl clutch brake linkage. Okay. Uh, the... Drive shaft looks like 9 sixteenths. Yeah. Okay. Um, the hydraulic filters. Okay. Hopefully that's acceptable. Um, you can drop them all directly underneath. Mm -hmm. But luckily there's lots of leaves, so I won't ever be able to find them again. Well, if I recall from the doing the rear clutches, yeah. uh, all that dirt in there is now an ant's nest. Oh, that's where they live. Yeah. Well, that's, yeah. I mean, good for them. So. Well done. Have fun. <laughs> That's what a magnum of a stick is for, boys. Yes. Do you have to pull the clutch brake off? Or just the linkage? Uh, the brake comes off as well. Yeah, the brake comes off. Wait, the brake pad or the actual cylinder? No, so the cylinder, it's, uh, I think it's a press fit. On oh, the so the cylinder shape. doesn't come off. Correct. Because the back side of these is under that. Maybe those ones then. But those ones won't allow me to do my thing that I was talking about. And then you're going to give me that look. look. I'm trying to avoid Wait, getting the look? look. What look? You like? know exactly what look I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm saying nothing. What are you not saying, honey? I'm not saying anything. Was Luke right? No. I think I can still get it without him being right. See? That look. That's the look I'm talking about. That's just my face, man. <laughs> What's the line? All right. We are just about ready to pull the bell housing out with the clutch plate and all of that stuff. So, yeah, we're going to get uh, a chain and we got the forks on the bobcat. We're just going to yank it on out. You know, hopefully it'll just be like that. Yank it on out. Hopefully it won't be a major fight. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. How you doing, love? Good. How you doing, look? I'm tired. Is it lunchtime? Uh, or not yet? Well, this needs to be cleaned up. And figure. then the other side cleaned up. And then we need to install the new clutches, which is just sliding the plates on. And then put this back. Right? Yeah. 
Yep, I see exactly how it functions now. We're gonna have to remember to uh, tighten the those little dog ears. Dog ears. The little things uh, from the outer ring to the inner ring. The oh two. yeah, the base adjustment for the clutch. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll have to back those out so it's at maximum adjustment then put it together and we'll just slowly adjust the clutch until it grabs correctly so. yeah. are you going to want to clean it up and finish today i definitely want to clean it up and get it ready to install if not try to install okay we don't have silicone do we yeah but that's an easy run into town it's true it's just ultra black yeah. Instead of gasket material? Yeah, so instead of a gasket, we're just putting ultra black silicone on it, which will act like the gasket because it's a oil seal. Um, because this is actually a flooded system, so it's a flooded clutch assembly. So it, uh, it's a wet, wet clutch, is that the word for it? Yeah. Yeah, it's a wet clutch. So it actually sits in a bath of hydraulic oil all the time. Um, and so you need to seal the bell housing to the back of the engine because otherwise all your gasket material will disappear. Or I mean, all your hydraulic oil will disappear. So. Vanish into the ether. Oh no, we'll know exactly where it went. It'll be in a trail behind the bulldozer for about 50 feet. So we forgot to film putting the clutch plates in when Luke put them in. Uh, but essentially what we did these plates match up to these. These are the new ones. These are the old ones. And essentially between each of these is a piece of steel uh, that is that has teeth on the outside. And as you apply pressure, it allows the inner, these inner teeth to engage with the outer teeth of the engine. So it's just a, I mean, it's a standard clutch pack. It's pretty, pretty simple. So I just looked at your gloves and realized that soon Luke is going to have almost identical gloves. Except when I put them on, if I put his gloves on, no, it'll be I, like... I know, I but I was up. thinking you I'm guys put could put on. like R and L, and then I realized that's the same as right and left. <laughs> which would be really confusing it'll on gloves. It'll be R, R. No, we'll switch them. <laughs> He'll put L on his right. I'll put R on my left. Be perfect. That's I'll, really funny. I'll... Uh put some uh, I'll, I'll spell out my name in sequence <laughs> yeah i was thinking i've got some glitter glue uh that i can i can make sure to individualize them for you boys no. all right we have more silicone the clutch plates are in the steels are in we have the holes lined up um and everything should be able to just throw some silicone on and drop it in and then it's just a matter of reverse of assembly and this is still the same day, which is awesome because this is going way better than we expected. Don't say that. What? Now is not the time. Don't worry. This isn't going anywhere. I thought you were going to say none oh. of them are nope. even all, remotely acceptable. All of them are perfect, and I love each and every one just the way it is. Liar! Nope. Well, I mean, there's some truth, because they're all so perfect that they will never come unthreaded. That's true. Right? Disassembly prevention. Yes. Who needs Loctite? Well, considering how much oh, this thing rattles. Right. What's that? 
that one wasn't threading in because each time, because it was square, but each time you turned it to run it in, the top corner was hitting the bell housing and turning it loose a little bit, oh. turning it off. So you've got to just rotate a little. Yeah, but there's another one that is threaded in and started. Yay! So that is a big old, big, 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 big old victory for today. Yep, that really is. Mm -hmm. Well, and now we can bump it slowly using the old winch method. Yeah. Oh my goodness. I cannot believe we did that in less than a day. And not like, oh, yay, it's five o'clock. It's. Yeah. No, it's not even three. Um, yeah. Unfortunately, I have to leave. Otherwise, we could probably get it all completely assembled. We're going to pack it up for the day. Uh, and we'll finish reassembly for you. It'll be tomorrow or, you know, right Next now. Week. That's it. Uh, I know we didn't do a lot of rammed earth today, but this is part of what it means to be building. It's maintaining and taking care of equipment. Thank you to all of our patrons. I always forget to give you all a shout out, but thank you uh, for all of us who support us on Patreon. That helps a ton and it helps us uh, keep being motivated to make videos and show you all how this works. Thank you for all who are subscribed. Um, if you feel like we earned it, go ahead and give us a like or a subscription. If not, I'm sorry. And I will try to do better next time. <laughs> All right, that's it. We're getting a little delirious. It is hot, it is humid, and we are done for the day. Thanks for joining our adventure. Mm -hmm.